Alright folks, Mysterious JG here, and we are ready to take a shot at the side-scrolling stage. The most frustrating part of which is that we'll have to go back through it again to backtrack through this level later. But for now, we just gotta remember that under no circumstances do you hit the weapon button while crouching, because that will make you drop. But I seem to remember that you can stab. Maybe it's only when you're ducking? I don't know. Probably best just not to take any chances. You only need it when you're crawling underwater, which you have to do because there's mines. And in a section like this, if you don't have the oxygen tanks, you will die. And these sections can be quite long. Plastic explosives. And I died. I hate this game. Oh, wow. Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh, well, I'm not even really to the hard part yet. So I tried to shoot while crouching. That basically ruined me forever. I know the layout of the whole place. I could probably make slightly better time, and I f my failure. And you do need plastic explosives because sometimes there will be a gate or something that you have to blow up that way. This time I think I've won. No, not yet. This has got to be it. What the? No one can avoid our attack. Okay. It's some kind of robot football players. Can somebody offer me some advice on this? This is what the transceiver was all about in other Metal Gear games. No, nobody's got anything useful. I can only think that I'm supposed to avoid, or I'm supposed to have rations here. I think I'm supposed to have a full complement of rations before I can fight these guys. And I don't think I'm going to continue with their area. Yep, I just start over again. Well, screw that, buddies. So we've got to go outside, get full rations, and then try that again. The only place to get rations is in the jungle outside. Now we know we can get back to the jungle. That's not a problem. It's a problem that it takes a while, and there's a huge amount of backtracking now has to be done, but uh, I'm giving you guys the full Snake's Revenge experience here. I stand by what I said earlier. This is not a bad game for its era, but man, games from this era are really frustrating when you go back and play them again now. How much uh, oxygen tank have I got?
three was the max anyway, so. Alrighty. No problem. This is all going fine, actually. Be nice if we had some truth gas, but I'm thinking maybe we can't get that, start getting that together until after we feed these bosses. The bosses, I gotta. They were, it sounded like they were they were making a we are taking damage sound when you shot them, but I feel like uh, so I feel like the that's probably the right weapon. Ah, oh, screw you guys! I just got to continue. Just kill me. I don't even care. Saw Snake is like a nihilist. He doesn't even care if he lives or dies. So crazy badass he is. I'll punch you. I don't even bother with a knife for you. Dick. Maybe this. Maybe there's rations up here. I couldn't open this before, could I? No, I could open it before. I guess they took card Q1. I know there's nothing useful in here. It's just a dude. Oh, you know what? I bet I know where there might be some rations. There was a door north of here that we couldn't get to. Go over there, we get back to the jungle. But over here, there is, is, there's either got to be rations or truth gas, something. Yeah, truth gas! I got a truth gas. Yeah, excellent. Now we're making some progress. This changes everything, folks. Like everything else, we can get 3 or 15 of it, depending on whether we get 1 or 5 every time we uh, go up to it. So now we're back to the jungle. I'd really like to not get killed out here. Although I think going out to the jungle is a new continuation point, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. about not getting killed. Let's see if I still got the truth gas or if I end up popping up inside the base somewhere without truth gas. I pop up inside the base without truth gas. Oh, you freaking game. Unfreaking believable. Even leaving the damn base doesn't give you a freaking new spawning point. Oh, it's killing them. Fine. Well, you can't... You can't say that stealth is only illusory in its importance, because in this game, if you get detected, the difficulty goes up like a million percent. You get swarmed with dudes immediately. I have yet to avoid getting detected there. I guess you just cannot enter from that screen on the top path here. Oh, fine. Damn it, just kill me. Kill me now. I'm ready to die. But we gotta stop Metal Gear, folks. Or it will destroy this place that does not even exist in Hideo Kojima's uh, actual... Um, What's the term I'm looking for? Uh, cannon. This Metal Gear is Apocrypha, but we still gotta take it out. Especially if we're like a kid who saved up and bought this game because they liked Metal Gear and wanted a sequel, and had no freaking idea that this was some kind of sacrilege that this wasn't a Kojima game. You just had to suck it up. And you remember that there were some very frustrating sections to the original Metal Gear game. So it's not really that different. No pitfalls, but don't worry folks, they're coming.
I just gotta get to those freaking rations. Oh, fucking. I mean. Oh, shoot. If you're willing to spam bullets, you're fine, but it's against my nature to just use them wastefully in a game where they actually are limited. Isn't that what the rations were? these screens where you're already trapped. Stop! Oh, I was one screen away! Uh, I need to think about whether I should be doing 50 minute videos here. Because I don't have time to get anywhere before I fail and get killed. Three times and lose the video. I don't lose the video, but you know what I mean. Just have a whole video of nothing being accomplished. You end up learning these little routes you've got to run pretty damn well, though, when any little failure gives you this huge setback like that. Turn the other way. I didn't even need to kill you, I just felt like it. I'm salt snake, I'm having a bad day. What I really need to do is get the frickin' rations, and then get to that elevator. That's it. That's... That'll be huge if I can do it. Were there rations up here by any chance? No. Crazy of me to think there might be. I was trying to get up to a higher point here, because I seem to remember getting spotted there, but... Now that I look at it again, I don't think that was one of the places where I was getting spotted anyway. Okay. This was, though, so run down! And you hit the tower! Okay. <sighs> Wasted like a quarter of my huge ammo supply, but... After me here, which means I've got to come down here. None of them come from the direction that I need to run to. I should be fine, but of course they will. Yes, I made it. Oh, sweet, sweet rations. MREs with your heating instructions, telling you to find a rock or something to prop to prop the heater up on. You can't even always get our MREs when you want them. And it's weird that you occasionally want them. Even if you were excited by the concept of brown bagging it, as they say, you may not have the option at all times. Okay. Okay, get rations. Now I'm gonna pop all the way over here and see if that gives me a chance. No, no. Go this way and run down, you should be fine. Except there's a tower there. Shit. Okay. I think Half-Life is enough for me to get back. Hopefully. I have a little bit better luck than I've had recently. Should be fine. Got some skills that I'm showing there. I want even some ammo. Although I think I just trapped myself now. I'm not going to be able to get back out of here. Okay, I did. Oh, fuck. Excellent. 
recovered pretty well, all things considered, on NPR. Now that night has returned to this world, I should, uh... Panic briefly. Okay. Got to get the truth gas, then get to the elevator without dying. If I can do that, we've made a major step forward. Doesn't matter how many bullets I use getting there, so I need to be I need to try to be fairly liberal with them. that. Just confirming that I can only hold three of those. It's actually officers on this floor I should interrogate. But then I would have to come back and replace my truth gas if I wanted to keep a full stock. I don't know, folks. I kind of feel like I gotta get out of this place without uh, taking any chances. So I think there's an officer up here. No, there's not. How did I... Oh. Oh. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Alright, folks. I think... I think we gotta call it a video. When we come back, I'm gonna try to do the same thing again and not die at the finish line. It's Mysterious JG. Thanks for watching. See you next time.